I had to make this video in a two part, but I'm going to slide it into a one part. Okay, so hang on one second and I'll show you how I did it. Uh, the start of a new filter for the 110 gallon tank. You see ju the lights just over the, the tote. This is a tote that I bought yesterday at Walmart. No, uh, Big Lots. And it's like 64 quarts, something like that. It's a pretty good size. All right. And it's uh, going to be the new filter. I'm putting two holes in it. There's one. And there's the other one. I'm working on the little one to make it that size. Okay. So when I get that done, I'll show you what I got going. I'm using my handy Dremel. All right. With a stone on it to make the holes. Start in the middle. And waddle your way out. And what I mean by waddle your way out, you take your Dremel and you just keep going round and around. Starting from the middle, you work your way out. Okay? Now, what I'm doing with that hole is this is a bulkhead. That bulkhead is going to fit in that hole. Right? And that's where I'm going to get my two overflows at for that tank right over there. Right where that light is. Right there. See that light? That's a 110 gallon stock tank over there. And I'm replacing I'm replacing that pump right there. That filter. It's a black one. I like to see what my water is doing and how full it's getting. And by doing it this way, I can take me one of them fish tank thermometers that you can glue, stick on here. And that'll give me my temperature. That one's too thick to do it with. <coughs> so, that's what I'm doing. Alright, I'm going to have two bulkheads, like that, on this, and then I'm going to have my filter, sponges, and all that up top, okay, and I'll show you how, to, how I'm going to do that uh, when I get it that far. Right now, I'm just building the, the plumbing to it, so let me pause you. So I get that done, and I've got to break down the other one to get the other bulkhead, and not have to go to the store. So I'm going to set it up with the same bulkheads that that other one's got, and then when it comes time to use that one again, I just have to get some more bulkheads for it. But for right now, I'm working on this one. Alright, the main thing if you ever going to try this is do not push down too hard on the plastic, okay? This right here is all thread. So you get it as tight as you can without pushing in, and you just turn it, and then threads will follow. See how it's going down? See? It's already got a rubber on the outside of it. See? And you just keep turning it, turning it, turning it, and the tighter you can turn this, Okay. Yeah, see that? that's super tight. It ain't going nowhere. That happened over there too when I did that one. So that one, that one is super tight right there. It, it ain't going nowhere. Right there. I mean, it's in there like took stuck. And then you take this other ring. Right here, you go behind it, 
on the inside. All right. Like so. I'm going to this out. On the inside here. And stick this on there. Make sure you got it right. Okay, and Titan is going to be going that way. I'll stick that on there. Stick, the, stick that ring on the other side of the bulkhead. Stick it up there, and you're going to go this way. Okay. It's going to take a little monagling to fix or to get lined up. Maybe it goes that way. Yeah, there it goes. Alright. Okay, there you go. Now, like I said, you want these boogers as tight as they can go. I mean, super duper tight without busting the. Without busting it. Alright, you want to do this before you even think about adding water. I mean, I know that's wasn't even supposed to be in there, but you want to do this before you even add water to it. Because if there's any adjustments afterwards, you're going to be screwed. Okay? So, that's what you need to do. Alright? Now, let me pause this and go to the next subject, which I'm going to have to shut that one over there down. i would set that one down right there. You see that pipe coming up and over. Set that one down. Get the bulkheads out of it. Take everything out of it. And put it in this one once I get it set up. And basically that's what I'm doing. Alright, here's where I'm at. I got this right here. I got both pipes down. I got that one. And I got this one. Now both of them in an eight. Okay, see that? Alright, now, what I'm doing now is I'm putting the other pipe that's going to drain out of the pond into this. Okay, these are the overflows. The big pipes that you just seen is the overflow. Alright, so how I did this is I'm going to take I'm going to take a bulkhead. Alright. I'm going to take my marker where it went off to. As usual. That's right, I got me another one. Hang on. I'm going to take my marker here. You don't want to do this part. You don't want to circle that part. You want to circle this part right here. Alright, so we're going to take that right here. Okay. I'm going to circle that part right there. You gotta keep it straight and you gotta keep it still. And you gotta circle that all the way around. Just the way you know how. Like I said, you gotta keep it straight, you gotta keep it still. If you don't, you gotta mark that bugger. It's gonna be all caught up. Okay? There's the circle. You want to keep that bucket just as round as can be. Like I said, when you do something like this, you got to be precise. You got to have patience and precision. So instead of you listening to the Dremel drill a hole. 
I'm going to pause it until after I'm done. Alright. This is what we got. This is going to be the uh, intake. It's coming from the pond. I'm going to come in here, okay? Now, here's my thing. I drill holes in this pipe. See how long that sucker is? I need a straight arrow for holes. Alright, I've got the other end capped off. Right there. Alright, and that's going to sit right there. And it's going to go down here, filter through, run to the bottom, fill up, and come out the overflows. Perfect scenario all the way around. I like the idea. And to do that, now hang on a minute, I ain't done yet. Hang on one second. Alright, here we go. Look at him. This right here is going to be the spray bar for the filter. Snap that on like this. Just like that. Right there. Make sure that sucker stays tight because you want that sucker as tight as you can get it. Alright. The hose is going to slip up on here. I need a longer. I need another L or T, not L. I'll get it right here in a minute. I need another elbow, and I'll show you why. All right, here's the deal. All right, see that right there? See, I got the L to it. Let's come on, come over. All right, the hose is going to fit on this end from the pump. Shoot it to here, come up, and do the spray bar, deliver the junk out of the pump, on into the pads, which I have in a basket right there. Hang on one second and I'll show you. This is a crate. A black crate you can find at a store. Okay. I got two inch pads in it. Okay. I've got this right here, sort of like a, 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 a I want to say a blanket, but it's not a blanket, but it's it's filter pads. Okay. And the black one is two inch thick, and it fits this box. It's perfect. You gotta cut it to size. You can always get your stuff cut to size. Whatever you do. Okay? Don't just go, well, yeah, that'll fit. Kind of find out you buy it and bring it and get it home and it don't fit. Always get your stuff cut to buy, cut to fit. Alright? You cut it, you fit it. That's the whole point. This crate has got holes in the bottom. Okay? Alright? All the way around the side. And I think my door in the wind's getting my glass door. Hang on one second. Like I said, cut to fit. Okay. These are filter pads. They're like coarse filter pads. Okay. This is a sponge. Black one is a sponge. It's got holes all the way around. It's crepe. Pick them up outside your local uh, dollar stores or Aspen store if they want, don't want it. You know, all your junk falls on here. Your water goes in the bottom. Okay. It's clean. Okay. I'm going to set this on here. Put this back up for a minute. All right. Now, I got bricks in here to lift that basket you just seen up. Okay. Put that right there. Put that right there. Like that. Now, I also got whatever decides to fall through there. I got lava rock. 
Alright. Lava Rock is an excellent, excellent bio filter media to put in the bottom. Because whatever heavy goes to that will stay in the bottom. Okay. Now, being I did that, I need to do something else. Hang on one second. Depending on your hose, I'm going to take this L one off. I'm going to put this one on. Reason why is because this right here is bigger than that right there. So you do that right there. And I'm going to beat that sucker up as far as I can. Sorry about the noise. If you don't glue none of this, you can redo it. Okay? That's the whole point. If you don't glue it, you can redo it. Alright? So that way, see now it's so tight on that, I can't even turn it. That's alright. I'm strong enough, I can turn it. I just gotta get to an angle where I can turn it. There it goes. There. Alright, now. That. Okay, that's the same size, so we don't want that, right? We want. This right here. Alright. This hose goes on a pump. Go. Pull it out. Get out of the way. Thank you. Alright. This hose goes on the pump. Alright. Attaches to that. Goes in the water. Okay. It's in the water, and it's sucking all the junk that it's catching into this, and spray barring it into that. All right, now, remember what I said about the lava rock? Take some out, and I'm going to see if you can see what I'm looking at. That's your lava rock, right there. You can buy it at a hardware store, uh, Lowe's. Fly, maybe, uh, Menards, Ace Hardware, if you got one, anywhere that's got lava rock, you want to put this in the pot, okay? Put this in the bottom, like this, because this you never have to rinse out. This will hold every now and then, have to rinse it out maybe twice a year, okay? That's what's good about putting stuff in a basket where you turn the pump off, it don't siphon everything out of your pond. You don't siphon all this out. And then you take your basket out. And if you want to rinse the rock off, the lava rock out, you can. And you ain't got to upset the tank to do it. Alright, and you can also put a heater in here. But it's going to be heated anyway. And, you can even put the thermometer, you can get one of them, you can get one of them stick-on thermometers that goes on a glass tank and put it on here, put it on the outside, and the best thing to do with that is whatever side you're going to be looking at. I'm going to be looking at this end. So that's where I would want my my thermometer sticker. Okay. they cheap. Oh my God, they're so cheap. I can buy them a dime a dozen now. Okay. Sorry about the noise. But that's what I'm doing. I'm filling in the lava rock here. And this is going to be where all the heavy stuff falls in the bottom. 
All right, so let me get that filled up and show you what it looks like. All right, I've got my lava rock in there now. Right there, see the bricks. The bricks are going to hold the lava rock, I mean, to hold the basket up. All right, let me move that back. There's my pump intake. There's my overflows. There's the filter media lava rock in the bottom. You want to keep them below this, okay? That's your bricks. And whatever this catches won't float up here because the lava rock will catch it. Whole point the concept right there, okay? Now, let me uh, do something else. Just a quick show of what kind of holes I'm de doing. Because I'm going with an 800 gallon per hour pump. And the more water you can pump through, the less clogged in your hat. Okay, so there you go, right there. Okay, there's the holes. Alright, I've got a line. I've got one going on each side of the line, and I've got one going on the line, okay? I don't know if you can get a close-up of that, but they, they're pretty good size holes. I don't have to worry about it clogging up, not for a long time, okay? And this will keep your tank a million times cleaner, as long as you don't have it out in the sun, okay? So there's what that is. I'm going to go ahead and finish drilling this out, connecting it, and show you what I got going. Alright, here's the pipe. I got it drilled. Alright. Got a down. The middle of the holes are going straight down. The one on each side of the line is going spread out. So when it's down, it'll cover that whole pad. Alright, all I got to do now is knock the head off of this for a minute so I can put something in that pipe all the way down the end of it. I don't know, I got it on there so tight. Hang on. Alright, there's the setup right here. I can't tilt it too much, but I can... Something here. I don't know what. But anyway, we got. Hang on, I'm going to have to move you. We got. The spray bar right there. Filter pads. And a tote or in a, in a basket. A crate. Sitting on bricks. Lava rock on the middle, uh, in the bottom. Catch all the heavy stuff that might come through here. Okay. Make sure this is all as tight to the side as you can get it. Okay. Yep, well, wait a minute. Let me get that right now. Okay, because you can't obstruct these right here. You cannot obstruct them. If you do, you're going to have a mess. So the more they're open, the better off they are, okay? And that is the setup right there. Now, will your water come over this? Hopefully not, but if it does, we can readjust. That's why that bar right there is as high as it is. And then you can see down the side, it's pretty good size. I might be able to take that foot off of it, raise the basket up, okay, and do it that way. We'll just have to see how high this goes when we plug it in with an 800 gallon pump. So, right now it's sitting on a 660, and this is for the 110 gallon right over there. 110 gallon stock tank, and this is what my setup's gonna be. This is a new setup, new tote, 
use python because I, it, this is all my pond python so I know where it came from so alright there it is I'm done hope you enjoyed the video the tutorial and oh I forgot to tell you alright what I did is I had some scrubbies I used for my filter and I put them under the spray bar that's going to catch all the big, heavy, heavy stuff. And it's going to filter through that. And then I took some sponges, like that black one in the bottom of the crate here. That's what it looks like right there. And I shoved it down in there. I shoved some down in the bottom, over there. All right. In between the basket and the... Uh, Overflows right there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what I got. All right, now hang on, and I'll show you something else. All right, that's the start. Where, well, uh, that's where it disconnected from me, and here's the rest of it. Here's the rest of the video after it got disconnected. Alright, this got disconnected, and it's going to be a, a trailer to what got disconnected. Alright. This is the 110 gallon stock tank. Alright. That right there is where the pump's going to sit. All right, this right there is where the filter tote is going to sit. So there it is, right there. I've got plants in there. I just bought that driftwood right there, which you can't see because of the light. Maybe you can see it that way. Yeah, I just bought that. That's a water iris right there. That's plants. My fish are kind of freaky because I ain't got them the water they, they're used to. I mean, they're in the water they're used to, but they don't like the idea of me messing with the filter. So, let me see if I can set the filter up and I'll tell you what it looks like. I want to the of how this works. Well, that one. All right, there it is. Well, it's good. Right there. Coming out of each pipe. Yes, it's going to leak just a little bit. Oh, there's a lot more than a little bit, though. But it'll, it'll be alright. It'll leak for a couple of days and it'll quit. But well, there's a lot more of a leak than I need, though. Hang on. Put it together and walk away because you always gotta hang around and see what you think. So, there's the result of the scenario. Right there. Those pipes are going. 800 gallon hour pump right there. Okay. And in here, okay, 
like it's going to do the trick. Nice clear water. Anything that falls below that right there it's going to get sucked up. But that's alright. It ain't going to be half as much as what come out of there. So, as you see the water. See how big the water is? So it's not going to get clogged up. Anything gets clogged up, it'll be those right there and this. But the holes ain't going to get clogged up for as big as the holes are. Right. No trick. Now the fish are going to start coming out. So I'll just slide over there and let you enjoy the work. And what we got going. Other than a mess. <laughs> and I got no one. Let's see here. Yeah, we're going to get it going that way. Another thing is, if you notice how empty my tank was, okay, goldfish and carp, which is what I got in there. I got one carp, and I got like seven, eight goldfish in there. That's why I have it as low as I do, because I don't have a top to put on there. One day, eventually, I'll figure out how to put a top on there, okay? But right now, I don't have a tarp, a top. So, that's why I have it as low as I do. But, hey, for a 110 gallon stock tank, they have over 55 gallons worth of water. Okay, they at least have 75 gallons worth of water to swim in. So, it's not like they ain't got enough water to play in. Okay. Now, I'm also going to take and put, I'll probably have it in this video, I think I do, but I want to take a blue pool liner, or pool cover, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a big old roll of it outside, and I'm going to cut me some up. Alright, I'm going to cut me a piece off of it, and I'm going to put it in the pond, and that's going to be what you see, because the pond that's in here that I just done for the, the pump will be for guppies. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pump that I'm using right now, that you see on there, that 800 gallon tank pump, 
I'm going to put it in a basket. Okay. The basket's going to be big enough to where I can put stuff around it that the guppies don't get sucked up into. Like a sponge. Okay. Something's not solid, but something like a a batten, like what you see in the, in the, right here, on that, right there, it's a, like a batten that you do pillows with and stuff, stuffed animals and stuff, okay, and you can get it at the craft place in Walmart, the craft area, and it'll come in a roll, Okay, or I'd rather have it in a roll because it's better to work with, but I'm going to take me a basket, sort of like what you're looking at right there, and I'm going to fill it with that, that batten stuff for the pump, okay, this way the guppies can't get sucked up in there, the babies and flies and stuff like that, okay, it'll keep the tank clean, and I'm going to have, I'm going to work on trying to get me, I've got a video on it. I want to put me some waterfalls in there, in the water. Now, the plants I have for this is hornwort, pacopa, jungle valve, water irises, and I just got me some um, lawigia repens, okay? So that will give the guppies, the fry, plenty of places to hide, to have the babies, the babies will be safe, the guppies will be safe, and it'll be just one amazement of a guppy pond, basically. And... I won't have to worry about them jumping out, and I can have the tank a little bit more water in it, okay? Um, this is the whole point in doing a filter, new filter with a bigger filter box, because there's going to be millions of guppies in this thing. So, what am I doing with some guppies? Well, I like the colors. So, so you can get millions of colors up from them. And I can trade them off for other fish or different kind of guppies or something I need from the, the pet store. You know, I can use it for credit, use them for credit, stuff like that. And, you know, I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do with them. You can sell them. You can trade them off. You can give them away. Whatever you want to do with them, you know. And that's, you know, I think they're beautiful fish. I mean, you you just keep trading out your fish. Take like a bunch of them and trade them off for new ones. You know, and that way you keep the the line new and you get tons of colors, you know. So it, it's something to give me something to do. Uh, you can come up with your own line of breed if you wanted to take certain guppies out and put a male and three females together and put them in a tank and let them breed. Make sure the female has never been pregnant because guppies, once they are pregnant, the first time, I mean the first hit, they can have babies up to two years. I mean, with one hit. Okay, so it's always, if you're going to try to do a line, pick out the male you want, the female you want, put them in a tank, let them go. And there you go with the line of guppies, you know, basically that's what I want to do, you know, and by doing it this way, I can put the goldfish I got in the other stock tank, 
the 110 gallon stock tank. I got two of them, like I said. And I'm going to make them outside fish. Now, I've got it already set up on my back deck. I had them going during the springtime of this year, which is 12, 16, 21 right now is when this video was done. But I just, I didn't trust me leaving them out there this winter because I didn't know what the winter was going to do and I didn't want to take a chance. So next year when I stick them out there, that's it. They're going to be there because I want to make sure I don't have to worry about them, the water freezing and all that. So I'm going to redo their filter situation where I don't have to worry about it. I'll have a heater out there. I'll have air stones out there. I'll have somewhat basic filter system on it. Uh, and go from there. You know. But other than that, um, it'll be what it is. And we'll go from there. I'm going to finish this video out that I have running and let you listen to what's going on and go from there. Yeah, now the fish will come out. Start playing around. I had that shit sixty right. Yeah, I've got a six sixty point running down there. Right there. Where it picks up anything. If they drop or stuff like that, I got one Water stopped going down toward the bottom, and I got the other one. It's going, it's blowing to the top, see. So, anything they drop or get swam around or caught up in the pump over there, it blows it over here. So that's what we got, guys. That is what we got. Dust it all out of this thing, because I get a ton of dust in this place. I'm going to go ahead and knock that down. Like that. Like so. I had a while ago. So. I'm going to 
had an empty tank in it. <laughs> About three hours. I had it cool. Yep, I like that idea. Okay. 